A telephone call was held between His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken. His Royal Highness reviewed the strength of the Bahrain-U.S. partnership, highlighting the importance of bolstering joint coordination to achieve common goals and interests. Regional and global issues of common interest were also discussed, as well as the latest developments in the Middle East, including the situation in the Gaza Strip. On the Gaza conflict, His Royal Highness underscored Bahrain's firm stance towards the Palestinian cause and its unwavering commitment to reaching a peaceful, lasting and fair solution in support of the Palestinian legitimate right to establish an independent state with East Jerusalem as its capital. His Royal Highness further outlined the importance of protecting civilian lives and de-escalating violence which threatens regional security and stability. His Royal Highness and the Secretary discussed how cooperation under the Comprehensive Security Integration and Prosperity Agreement continues to strengthen the strategic partnership between Bahrain and the U.S. For his part, the U.S. Secretary of State expressed his appreciation for Bahrain's contributions to maritime security. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sport Chairman of the General Sports Authority and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, chaired the BOC Board of Directors meeting at Al Wadi Palace in the presence of the Deputy President, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, the members of the Board of Directors, and the Secretary General Faris Al Kuhiji. His Highness Sheikh Khalid hailed the committee's achievements through its support to Team Bahrain, which stems from its responsibility towards team's external participations. He affirmed the importance of preparing for upcoming championships, particularly the Paris Olympics 2024 in July. He directed that the financial allocations for external participations in the financial regulation be reviewed in accordance with current developments. The minutes of the previous board meeting were also approved and the Secretary General reviewed the committee's financial report of 2023 and the financial plan for January to June 2024. He reviewed the developments of the Making Champions program as well as other reports. A presentation on Bahrain's hosting of the World Aquatics High Diving World Cup was also made. At the end of the meeting, His Highness Sheikh Khalid noted the efforts of the committee's executive body and role it plays in supporting national teams and hosting international sporting events in cooperation with sports unions. He wished Bahraini sports further progress. On behalf of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa attended the final match of the 48th Crown Prince Volleyball Cup held between the Al Muharraq Club and Al Ahli Club at the Isa bin Rashid Volleyball Hall in Rafah. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman congratulated the board members of the Al Ahli Club and their fans following their win over the Muharraq Sports Club by three sets to zero. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman emphasized that the development of sports in the kingdom as well as the numerous sporting achievements of Bahraini citizens are a result of the unwavering support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to the sports sector. His Highness commended the performance of both teams during the game highlighting that their sportsmanship and competitiveness reflect the advanced level of volleyball in Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman highlighted the Bahrain Volleyball Association BVA support for the sport and the organization of the tournament wishing them further success in the future of volleyball.
His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman presented the cup to the Al Ahli Club and wished them continued success. His Highness also awarded medals to the runners up. The executive and legislative authorities held a meeting on the measures taken by relevant authorities regarding the leak in one of Bobco's oil tanks according to security and safety measures. The meeting was chaired by the Speaker of the Representatives Council, Ahmed Lamsallam, the first Deputy Chairman of the Shura Council, Jamal Fakhru, and the Minister of Cabinet Affairs, Ghanem al -Bu'inain. In the presence of the Minister of Oil and Environment and the Special Envoy for Climate Change, Dr. Mohammed bin Dayna, and the Minister of Health, Jalila Hassan. The representatives of the legislative authority affirmed their keenness on following up on the developments regarding the leak and taking the necessary measures as a priority to control its spread. They noted the importance of providing information and data and reassuring the public with guidelines and instructions that must be followed to ensure safety. They hailed the high readiness of the Ministry of Health for the swift handling of the incident since its beginning and for taking preventative measures to protect the safety of all. The government team stated that the relevant authorities have begun the inventory of the effect of the gas odor and to develop prevention and response plans that noted that appropriate solutions are being carried out to address the defect in accordance with security and safety standards. They said that relevant teams are present in the field to carry out regular environmental measurements in accordance with public safety protocols, noting that air quality levels in Bahrain are currently safe and reassuring and within the approved environmental standards it stated that emergency teams are ready to deal with any emergency noting that civil defense teams are present at the site 24 hours a day with the Popco emergency team the team said that as soon as competent authorities detected the odor in some areas the Ministry of Health in coordination with the Supreme Council for the Environment began developing a health preparedness and response plan in anticipation of any emergency The Minister of Foreign Affairs, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, held a meeting with the Minister of State for the Middle East, North Africa, South Asia, and the UN in the UK, Lord Barak Ahmed, who is on a visit to Bahrain. During the meeting, the historical ties were discussed in light of the strategic dialogue between the two countries and the fields of cooperation at all levels to achieve common interests. The two sides discussed the latest developments in the Middle East, the war in the Gaza Strip, and its impact on civilians, its repercussions on regional peace, security, and stability the regional and international efforts to achieve a ceasefire, prevent escalation and the need to protect civilians, deliver humanitarian aid to the Strip and intensify efforts to achieve just and lasting peace for the people in the region. They affirmed the importance of holding the 33rd Arab Summit to be hosted by Bahrain in May in light of the situation and challenges the need to regions that contribute to enhancing Arab solidarity and support peace. The Representatives Council held its weekly session chaired by its Speaker Ahmed Lamsallam. During the meeting, the Council presented a number of messages sent by the government regarding a draft law amending a number of provisions of the Correction and Rehabilitation Institution Law and a draft law ratifying an agreement between the governments of Bahrain and Hong Kong regarding double taxation. The Council discussed a number of laws and approved 10 law proposals. It also approved four requests of discussions and eight urgent proposals. The General Directorate of Civil Defense continues to take the necessary measures regarding the incident of a gas leak from one of Bobco's tanks in Sitra by limiting the spread of gases and containing them in coordination and cooperation with the Bobco emergency team. The emergency response team and the company's executives also continue assessing the situation around the clock in coordination with the relevant official authorities. The Civil Defense, with its equipment for dealing with hazardous materials and in compliance with the plans of the National Committee for Civil Emergency Management and the Civil Defense Council, is securing the... Uh, accident site and repairing the leak, taking into account all security and safety standards. Since receiving the report, 14 vehicles and over 40 officers and individuals have been dispatched to secure the tank through the cooling process. The partnership between the relevant authorities remains an effective element in reducing the impact of the accident as the safety of citizens and residents is a top priority. 
The joint efforts of all concerned bodies have proven successful in containing the gas leak from one of the oil tanks belonging to Bobco Refining in Sitra, as this affirms their concern for the safety of citizens and residents. More in this report. In order to preserve the safety of the citizens and residents of the Kingdom of Bahrain, all efforts are exerted to contain the gas leak from one of the oil tanks belonging to Bobco Refining in Sitra. All concerned state agencies raised their maximum readiness in response to this incident, which was caused by a limited technical defect resulting from the unprecedented weather conditions and heavy rain Bahrain witnessed during the past week. The operations to deal with this leak were carried out according to appropriate treatments and to security and safety standards. It was confirmed on the 21st of April that dealing with the resulting leak had reached its final stages. In its weekly meeting, the Cabinet affirmed its follow-up of the measures taken by the concerned authorities represented by the Ministry of Interior, the Ministry of Health and the Supreme Council for the Environment to deal with the leak. The executive and legislative authorities also paid considerable attention to the incident, holding a joint meeting to review the measures taken by the concerned authorities. The National Civil Emergency Committee also held an emergency meeting during which it was confirmed that the concerned authorities had already responded to this incident in coordination between Bobco and other concerned authorities. The Supreme Council for the Environment also dealt with citizens' complaints about the spread of odors in a transparent and professional manner. The rapid response proved that Bahrain succeeded in dealing with emergency situations with professionalism and transparency and does not hesitate to serve citizens and residents under any circumstances. Arab Parliament Speaker Adel Asumi delivered an address during the 23rd session of the Arab Human Rights Committee devoted to discussing Bahrain's second national report held at the Arab League's headquarters in Cairo. Al Asumi affirmed that Bahrain boasts a, dis or boasts a distinguished human rights record thanks to His Majesty the King's unwavering efforts to preserve and protect human rights in accordance with a wise and enlightened vision. He asserted that what distinguished Bahrain's unique human rights experience is the existence of the humanitarian dimension hailing the decree issued by His Majesty the King to pardon 1,584 inmates charged in rioting and criminal cases. The Speaker commended the ongoing efforts of the government led by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister to consolidate the values of human rights as they are an integral part of the Kingdom's heritage stressing that Bahrain has been a meeting point for civilizations and a beacon of coexistence among various cultures and religions. Under the patronage of uh, His Majesty the King, the closing ceremony of the fourth session of the Bahrain International Web-based Holy Quran Recitation Competition, Global Reciter, will be held tomorrow evening in the Cultural Hall, organized by the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Waqf in a cooperation with the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs. This edition of the competition received large interaction with the participation of over 5,000 contestants from 74 Arab and Islamic countries.